Hey everybody, good morning and welcome to another episode of Amazon Ads Raw Daily. Today we're going to cover the perfect campaign structure or at least we're going to try to argument or uh, talk about what different campaign structures are they and what do I believe and I think is a good or the best campaign structure. So first of all, you can either you can you can basically go in two different directions. You can go into the direction of making your campaign structure very granular. That means you would create single keyword campaigns or you make your campaign not as granular and you create a very limited amount of campaigns with lots of targets and keywords. And both, both directions have some um, problematic areas and some uh, beneficial areas problematic area on the very granular scale side is that it will be very hard to manually manage all of these campaigns. So imagine you have just one, you're just selling one product, one ASIN. This product will usually has a range of, let's say, 100 keywords, which are relevant for that product. If you want to advertise all of these 100 keywords, you might want to create these keywords in exact and in phrase and in broad, let's assume this would already be 300 campaigns. And then we have not talked about product targeting campaigns or any sponsor brand, sponsor brand video display campaigns. So you will end up with lots, lots of campaigns. And even if the product only has 25 keywords, this would result in um, a huge amount of campaigns and it will be very hard to manually manage all of them. So you would need to have a system in place which can manage this amount of campaigns for you. Otherwise, a super granular campaign structure will be hard to manually manage. On the other hand, if it's very granular, you have the highest optionality to uh, re really leverage the bitment, uh, bit placement modifier. So for each keyword, you could set a placement modifier for top of search and product pages and so on and so forth. And this gives you the most granular bit optimization potential. So there is some benefits from this granular structure, but there's also some, some um, yeah, in my view, some problematic areas. Another, another thing, when you set up a very granular structure, and you have a very granular campaign structure, there will be keywords which do not have enough amount of data every week to sufficiently produce sales and results in order to uh, decide if you want to change a bit. So let's say you have 100 keywords, and from those 100, maybe 20 are actually driving lots of traffic, meaning uh, I don't know a sale a day, at least. But there will be lots of keywords as well, which are producing maybe not a sale a day. Maybe they just result in one sale a week. And now you have uh, campaigns which are driving 10 clicks, 20 clicks, 30 clicks a week, and maybe one sale. Maybe in some weeks they don't re result into a sale. And now the question is, how would you adjust the bits on those if you're not getting any sales as a result? You are not really, uh, you, you cannot really make a decision on bits if you want to set your bits up or down. And this requires to aggregate the data from this campaign up on the next level or take a uh, take an approach where I say, okay, this is a, um, this campaign is not producing any sales, but I know it's a relevant keyword. So in order to actually set a bit, I'm going to take the next level, uh, which is eventually all my broad keywords. And I assume it will have the same conversion rate. And then I'll take the average uh, CPC based on the conversion rate of all my broad keywords or something like that. So you would need to manually adjust the data in a way that you can make a decision on how to set a bit or a machine needs to do that. Um, so the very granular structure, in my opinion, doesn't make sense for all the keywords and um, so on and so forth. Now let's take a look at the other side of the 
um, of the escalation, a very, very, uh, um, uh, how do you say, uh, yeah, not a very granular structure. You have just a, a few campaigns. Um, so you could, for example, just create one campaign where you have all your exec keywords, one with all your phrase, and one with all your broad, one with all your products, uh, one automatic, and then you just have, in the end, maybe five sponsor product campaigns. This is also problematic in my personal viewpoint because a campaign, the, the amount of targets in a campaign shouldn't be too high. Why shouldn't you put like 100 keywords in the same campaign? Because Amazon will put the budget on the keywords first, which it thinks has the highest relevancy and brings the most clicks and sales and so on and so forth. So if you add 100 keywords, there's a potential that some of these keywords will never get delivered in the auction because it's the same campaign um, which sends uh, the, the keywords into the auction. And um, when you start a new campaign and you add more than 100 keywords, you will usually see that in the first day, maybe 20 of these keywords are actually getting some traffic. And then maybe after a week, you have maybe 50 or something like that. But um, even after half a year, not all the 100 of keywords will have gotten any traffic so there will be losers and eventually these losers are not actually losers eventually there are good keywords as well which didn't really got a chance so they would need to be put into their own campaign another problem with a campaign structure where you have just one campaign and many targets inside is the budget because the budget is for all the targets combined and the next problem is the placement modifiers, which is also for all the targets. So you cannot individually adjust placements and budgets for these targets. So if you have poorer targets or worse targets in, in a campaign, the modifier or the budget is also working for them. And eventually you want to set a higher modifier for a very good target. Uh, and that brings us to the, in my personal opinion, perfect structure which is a very unique structure for every ASIN. So depending on the ASIN, you would need to identify what is your main hero keywords and terms and targets. And this is, depending on the product, this can be only five keywords or 10 or 20, um, or maybe even 50, um, but usually it's not 500. Uh, usually the amount of keywords which are highly relevant for a product is limited. Uh, and these require, in my opinion, individual single keyword campaigns, for example, single keyword exact match campaigns. And then you have the same in a phrase or broad or maybe both with eventually a lower bit. And only the most relevant keywords you would put into individual keyword campaigns where you have the most granular setting options on the bits and the placements and the budgets and everything else could maybe go into a more combined combined approach where you um, put in your uh, uh, bottom funnel keywords, your long tail keywords or uh, your experimental keywords in just one campaign and then maybe you have 20 or 30 keywords in one campaign running, which makes it much easier to manually adjust this campaign inside Ad Console than it would be with single keyword campaigns on these low traffic um, keywords as well. So the ideal structure could look like you have one automatic campaign, then you have 10 exact match campaign, you have these 10 keywords as well in broad with eventually lower bits than on exact. And then you have another two, three, four campaigns where you have more uh, keywords combined in one campaign. Uh, so the amount of campaigns you'll have is below 50 maybe per, per, per ASIN. This seems to be um, an amount of campaigns which are still manually handleable, but not too granular in a way that you would lose uh, traffic and data on the campaign level and so on and so forth. But as I said, each ASIN is different. And for some ASINs, 
this would require more single keyword campaigns. Some ASINs would require less. Um, now we could talk about, do we actually do every child ASIN into the same structure or in a similar structure? Or will we do a parent in one structure and every child of that parent goes into the same campaign? But that's a topic for another episode because we're already over time. So thank you very much for listening today. Have a wonderful day and hear you tomorrow. Bye-bye.